I recently added a Tenorian to my setup, and in addition to using it as a standalone instrument, producing audio with its own synthesizer engine, I'm also using it as a MIDI controller with Ableton Live. And I actually like the implementation quite a bit. Each of the 16 layers within the Tenorian are hard-coded to MIDI channels 1 through 16. So if you go into Ableton Live and set up corresponding tracks listening on those MIDI channels, you can use the Tenorian to drive uh, MIDI devices and VSTs within Ableton Live. One of the downsides of the implementation, at least currently in the Tenorion, is that when it produces MIDI notes, they're at a fixed velocity of 100. And you can't change the velocity in this step. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work around this by processing the MIDI using a MIDI device within Ableton Live, specifically velocity. So I've created an Ableton Live set. I've dropped a MIDI track into the set with an instance of the Circle VST. And I've also dropped the Velocity device into the device chain. In the Circle VST, I've mapped Velocity to the frequency of the filter so that as uh, MIDI notes at different velocities come in, we'll really hear the difference. I've also set up a dummy clip with no notes in it. But the dummy clip has the automation in it that's going to allow us to program Velocity and apply it to the incoming MIDI signal. I have the MIDI clock set so that Ableton is the master and when I hit play it triggers a pattern that I've created on the Tenorion and as you can hear the velocity of the pattern is fixed but if I turn the velocity device on you can see how the automation clip is actually driving velocity changes that are changing now the filter on circle. Of course now that there's velocity introduced into the uh, equation, the audio coming in also has amplitude changes it didn't have before, so that allows you to use other devices like uh, gates, where the velocity now can cause the audio to break the threshold. So this opens up a whole new world for devices like the Tenorion and other devices that are sending out fixed MIDI information. Simply use the velocity plug-in, create a dummy clip, set up your automation inside that dummy clip so that it maps to different parameters within velocity to apply velocity programming to the incoming signal in real time. I'm going to go ahead and play that section of the video again with the audio in it so you can hear the differences uh, when the velocity is coming in without me talking over the top.